Hello students. Since last days, we have got some queries regarding the subject Advanced Engineering Mathematics. So students find this subject so much harder that all the all the people have sent a message uh, to us about uh, please uh, make a video about the uh, Advanced Engineering Mathematics subject. I don't know why the students has so much fear for this subject that this subject is very easy. So if at least if you want to clear the subject then for the at least passing marks this subject is easy. Yes, I can understand that if you want to score much higher then up to some level it will be harder for you to get the higher marks. But as if if you are talking about to clear the subject it is very easy. So first of all I want to say some uh, share something that why this subject is very easy to us then let us understand first the paper style of advanced engineering mathematics subject. So let us go through the first of all paper style that first it consists of 14 marks 14 marks one marker question that 1 to 14 there will be one marker questions so like definitions and simple solution that you can solve it in the uh, uh, 2 to 3 minutes maximum it will be, uh, take maximum 2 to 3 minutes of you and you can solve the 14 out of 14 questions very easily just go through the basic fundamentals of your mathematics and it will be easy for you to clear the first 14 questions now I will go to the question for the series solution yes you can see here find the series solution of y double dash plus x y is equal to 0 which consists of 7 marks so 14 mark one marker question 7 marks series solution so 21 marks right now let us go to the Fourier part that you can see here express the function as Fourier integral find the Fourier series expansion of the function which consists of 7 marks and then find the series to represent the function which consists of 7 marks so 7 and 7 14 marks here so 14 marks one marker question 7 marks power series 21 and again 14 marks more so total 35 marks till this this chapters now coming to the Laplace portion you can see here that they are asking Laplace in 3 marks 4 marks and again 7 marks question and so you can see here the total 14 marks of Laplace part so you can say that 14 marks of Laplace 14 marks of Fourier 7 marks of power series and 14 one marker question so total 49 marks and I can understand that 49 marks are enough to get the 23 marks so it will be very easy for you to get the 23 marks in this particular part now going to the other paper which is of the uh, winter 2015 part uh, particular semester so you can see here that first of all 14 one marker question right so you can get easily 14 out of 14 marks in this one uh, first part then you can see here that find the series solution of x minus 2 d square y by dx square minus x square dy by dx plus 9y is equal to 0. Again 7 marker question for the series solution. So again 14 and 7 21 marks. Now coming to the Fourier part find the Fourier cosine integral of fx is equal to pi by 2 e raise to minus x. x is greater than or equal to 0 3 marks and again cos 2x of equation 4 marks and again find the Fourier series so again 7 marks question so total again 14 marks of Fourier series and find the Laplace of Laplace inverse and find the initial value problem using the Laplace transform <clears throat> so again 40, 14 marks for this 14 marks for Fourier 7 marks of power series and 14 marks of questions so again 49 marks of total from the particular part so you can easily pass the examination by this 49 marks. Now back to the portion for the first chapter. Here we have got some queries like give some IMPs about the mathematics. So I found this question very uh, rare because you cannot give any important question for the mathematics because they will ask the question from anywhere because they have so many data they can create their own particular sum. So they, there are more possibilities but you can see that the types of sum are same the data may be changed but type will be same you can solve the sum by the same method that you have solved another one so here for the first chapter introduction to some special function which consists of 4% of weightage which consists 
mainly they will ask from the beta function gamma function direct delta sensorial function so around 3 to 4 mark question from this chapter will be asked so you can get around 3 to 4 marks for the particular maths so you cannot skip this chapter because uh, you can understand the value of 3 to 4 mark when you stuck at 18 to 19 marks so do not skip this chapter you will find this uh, find the value of this chapter in the examination as of now give some time one or two hours maximum for this chapter it will be easy for you to understand now fourier series and fourier integral so this consists of 10 percentage weightage so as per this you can say that they will ask the question of seven marks only but as i mentioned in the paper and you, you can see in the paper that they are asking question of 14 marks from the fourier series and fourier integral so you can expect the particular types of sums that express the function as a fourier integral fourier series expansion fourier series to represent the function fourier series discontinuous function mean convergence of fourier series fourier series of e1 and odd function arbitrary period t2l half range cosine series half range sine series this part is important they are asking question every time from the half range half range sine and half range cosine fourier cosine and sine integrals so it is important and it, it will give you a total 14 marks from the uh, for, from the paper and the total one or two marker question may be asked in for first 14 question from this chapter so you can expect that you can uh, uh, gain around 15 marks uh, or 16 marks from this chapter now coming to ordinary differential equation and application which consists of 20 percentage weightage yes it is important if you want to score more in the examination it is important and it is easy because if you are coming in engineering by the passing through 11 or 12 if you are not from diploma and if you have completed 11 and 12 then you easily understand you can easily understand the integration derivation and all the formulas so you can explain uh, uh, you can easily understand these types of chapter so ordinary differential equation and application so first over first order in the first order ordinary differential equation variable separable method or separable equation which is important because the tu is asking every time seven marks sum from the variable separable method so you can expect one question from this particular part that variable separable exit differential equation linear differential equations and orthogonal trajectories now coming to higher order linear differential equation which is consist of method of determining the ex ex explicit form of the general solution of the higher order homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation with constant coefficient methods of obtaining particular integral methods of variation of parameters shorter measure for finding the particular integral for the some special form euler and cauchy euler and euler cauchy and cauchy euler linear ordinary differential equation so you can expect higher order linear differential equation uh, numerical from this part only so you can easily gain the seven marks from this particular part and seven marks from the ordinary uh, first order differential equation so it will consist of around 21 marks particularly so you can gain around 14 marks if you once go through this chapter because methods are very easy to solve the ex uh, examples now coming to a series solution of differential equation which consists of six percentage weightage only but as you, you have seen that um, they are asking the question of seven marks every time and it is very easy to, so, to solve that question because it will consist of very uh, small amount of methods you can see here that Fobinus method for finding the series solution of ordinary differential equation near the regular singular point. So you can see the question like this, the find the series solution of differential equation and they will give one differential equation to you. You have to find the series solution of the particular differential equation. So it will be easy for you to get the seven marks easily from this chapter. So please do not skip this chapter. It will be very easy for you to understand this chapter and you can gain easily seven marks from this chapter. Now, Coming to the Laplace transform and applications. So you can easily pass the examination by Laplace transform and application only because it will consist of 14 marks question in 7 marks, 7 marks and there will be one, 2 or 3 question in first 14. So you can expect around 40, uh, 14 marks that uh, uh, for the theor numerical portion and from the first 14 you can expect three to, to, the th 2 to 3 questions. So it will give you around 17 to 18 marks, right? So 17 to 18 marks and uh, some other theories that you can understand. So it will total give you around the 20 to 21 marks. So 
you can easily uh, reach near the passing marks so there is no any criteria to get the fa failure in the subject because all the chapters are very easy to understand they are asking the question repetitively every time in the series solution you can see that there there are so many repetitive questions so just go through the laplace transform and application thoroughly so you can expect these types of question from the laplace transform on your screen so you can easily get through the chapter now partial differential equation formation of partial differential equation lagrangian equation non linear partial differential equation for first order solution by direct integration separation of variable used for fourier integral so this consists of 15 percentage weightage and you can expect the two questions from this particular area so you can say that this will be a tough one uh, toughest chapter in the particular part for you to get the so solution because there are too many methods are there in the chapter and we cannot predict the which which method they they will ask so if you know the, that that this method is important then then you can get the whole uh, uh, funda of that met particular method easily so go through the partial differential equation once so what should be your strategy is that first you should go through the first chapter that introduction to some special functions then solve the laplace laplace transform and application and then go to the fourier series and fourier integral then go to the power series or series solution of differential equation then go to ordinary differential equation and application and at last you should go through the through the partial differential equation so it will give you uh, only that you if you are calculating day wise then this will take first two chapters uh, first three chapter will take one day and then series solution and uh, fourier will take uh, fourier will take one day and then another day for the uh, another two, two particular two chapter where you can say two modules so don't be panic on the exam time it will be very easy examples in the paper if you know the particular methods it will be very easy to pass the examination it is just students are getting failure because of they just frustrated because the people are continuously saying that maths 3 will be higher maths 3 will be higher and if you will get the backlog it will be not solved uh, solve as early or you cannot solve the backlog in the maths 3 these all are rumors just believe in yourself and do the continuous perspiration and it will be easy for you to pass the examination so if you find this video helpful then please like share and subscribe and if you have doubts regarding the any topics or subjects in the mechanical engineering then you can whatsapp us on the given numbers thank you